Hi, everybody. Welcome back. It's me again. I know some of you missed me yesterday, but I was very happy to see that some of you asked for me, maybe one or two of you. But welcome back, parents, students, educators. I'm so glad that you're here. So I'm not going to waste too much time. We're going to go straight into it. So as you saw, today we were going to talk about profile building. Okay. So we're just before we go into, you know, ideas that I'm going to share with you about what profile building is. Uh, or how you can uh, do uh, pro build your profile what we're going to do is we're going to talk about what a profile is now i don't know if many of you know what it is but basically what a profile is it's something that you start to create from about grade eight and i know there are some of you who have been uh, who are in grade eight grade nine you all have been coming on every day so it's something that you start to create from grade eight it's um a list of activities or extracurricular activities that will make you stand out from the crowd. What that means is, say you're from a particular school and there are four of you who are applying to the same university in grade 12. All right. Now, the type of extracurriculars that you do are all the same. All four of you have the same because you're going to the same school. You're doing the same thing. Right. So what is it that you are going to do in order to make yourself stand out? That's what we have to look at. OK, so when a college receives your applications, all four of you, everyone has the same extracurriculars. But you know what? Yours will be different because you have different activities from your three other friends who applied with you. OK, so that's what is what a profile. It makes you stand out. It also helps you identify what your goals and interests are. So for some of you who don't know what you want to do or, uh, you know, trying to figure it out, try and get involved. Maybe uh, start to do a, a few extracurricular activities. And you know what? We're all sitting at home right now. We have the time in order to build our profile. So whether it's a project that you start at home, or whether it's a blog that you do, or whether it's a research paper that you uh, start to write, whatever it might be, start to do it right now okay so it's a blend a profile is a blend of academic and non-academic activities all right now a profile you might say but miss i'm not interested i just want to study and i just want to get into college i understand that but a lot of colleges are asking for profiles right now and that's the importance of having a profile so students and parents this is for you also maybe you don't have a choice Maybe, you know, it's something that you have to do because uh, because students will want to know or uh, colleges will want to know what did you do? Yeah, you're a 90 plus uh, student. But what did you do outside uh, the classroom? What kind of activities did you take part in? So we have to make sure that you have a list of activities or extracurricular activities that you can uh, take part in. All right. So having a. Uh, having a profile or starting to build a profile you'll be able to discover more about yourself who are you as a person what do i like to do so i had this uh, student that i was counseling in one of the schools she was a grade when i saw her first she was in grade 12 and uh, she was so sure she wanted to do no she was in grade 10 she was so sure that she wanted to do film she said miss i want to go to america these are the colleges i want to do film all of that and then later i saw her in grade 11 one year later and through that year through the summer she had taken part in different types of extracurricular activities she started to do a lot of community work and stuff and then the next time i saw her she said miss i changed my mind i don't want to do film i want to do something in environmental studies and she made that choice because of the kind of projects that she was involved in during that one year so it really helps you as a student to take some of those decisions you also know what your interests and your skills are for example my daughter she was a uh, president of the student council she never knew that she enjoyed to lead a team and that's something that she did but she learned and she got that experience by doing that okay so it's very very important that you have a and that's the importance of having a profile and like i said more than anything else it's needed by colleges here in india and also abroad now there are many ways in which that you can build uh, your profile. Okay. We've already talked about a few. I know some of you know that already. 
but take for example work experience all right you're like me miss but i'm too young to do work experience i don't mean you have to work in a real job i mean it could be anything you could be a teacher's assistant you could do uh, even uh, even doing something like being student council and um, putting together activities in your school are all looked at as work experience and obviously it's non paid another word for work experience is externships or internships we've talked about this and i will be talking about it a little bit more in detail uh, you can do summer programs so there are lots of summer programs now everything is going virtual so go online and look at what you would like to study maybe you have an interest in something so go do a summer program you can do it sitting at home now it'll be a lot cheaper than flying to the us or uk so make use of that opportunity there are online certifications that you can do so if you look at udemy or coursera there are so many things you think you're interested in say photography go do a course a free course that you can do and then you can put it as part of your profile okay now keep in mind your profile only has things that you have started from grade 9 so if you won a fancy dress competition in grade 2 that does not count okay only things from grade 9 so start to do things from grade 9 and then do it till the end of grade 12 and then colleges will look at your profile and say wow this student has done something for four years and they've been continuing now if you are learning an instrument or you're a kathak dancer for example and you've been learning from when you were in 6th or 7th fantastic continue to do that okay they love to see things like that especially and they look at it a little bit like education so continue to do music and dance uh, you know playing piano whether it's whether you're doing graded exams whatever it might be continue to do all of these but also look at how you can do some of these other activities maybe do a project a couple of days ago ms bhakti talked about instructables and there were ideas of how you can start a project alone at home get on to website see what you can do maybe you can make a vegetable garden a flower garden whatever it might be um when i was working in a in a in a in a college i always talk about this there were three boys and i know you can't do this uh, right now there were three boys who went to different workshops and picked up spare parts and they built a go kart you know what a go kart is right they built it and that's what they showcased in all their college applications and they all got in to all the universities that they applied in they weren't you know top of the class but they did something so creative they put together a project so once this lockdown is over maybe get together with two three friends and maybe you can start a project maybe something that you can do in school also various competitions like olympiads uh, you know if there's a science competition or a contest take part in those kind of things also mun is another big thing that you can do so definitely take part in mun but look at whether you're interested in mun don't just do it just because everyone else is and because i said it's good So another thing that you need to keep in mind when you're building your profile is you need to look at so make a list of your dream colleges where do you want to go whether you're in 9 10 11 12 it doesn't matter maybe you have many many colleges and what you need to do is look at what do they need from students okay what kind of it's called characteristics or attributes what do they want in students who are applying to this particular university so take um University of Southern California for example they want to see have you done any research have you done any research projects and that will become as part of your profile so outside of your classroom what have you done so some of you i know are writers and bloggers continue to do things like that maybe you're a science student but you love to draw okay you have artwork it's something that you can uh, you can send in with your application all right maybe you're a good sports person start to put the portfolio together of nil videos of you playing football or cricket whatever it is okay or maybe you're a, a track and field you're really good at long jump and running start putting together a video so whether you're applying for sports or not it doesn't matter but send it with your application and that's how you build your profile and you can start to do that now start to put together a plan of what you need to do so look at what colleges need and try and fit in different types of extracurricular so colleges are not saying oh i want to see how many uh, certificates you have you have 20 certificates 
but what quality is it of is what they want to look at they look at what learning did you get out of those profiles okay out of the activity that you did and that's what is most important please keep that in mind parents this is for you also don't drag your children to be involved in everything i would rather they pick two three things and do it well i hope that makes sense now looking at how you can do it so we have a service and i don't want to spend too much time but hopefully next week a colleague of mine is going to be talking more about it but we do have a service where we can help you as a student build your profile all right it's called pro map all right so what we do is we look at where what kind of student you are we do a psychometric test for you and then look at what your interests are and based on that we will put together a road map of different types of activities like online courses and uh, olympiads and extra whatever it might be okay based on what you want to study we will put together a road map that you just have to follow so that by the end of grade 12 when or by the beginning of grade 12 when you are applying to university voila you have this fantastic profile so if you want help of course it is chargeable but if you want more details about this pro map p r o m a p just put in the chat box yes i'm interested i want information about pro map or yes pro map or more information about pro map or pro map yes whatever you want to do and then we will be happy to get in touch with you and talk about how we can help you build this profile parents do not take this for granted it's something that is very very inter uh, interesting uh, uh very very essential and interesting that your child will do because not only are they doing it for college but they are also doing it in order to build 21st century skills now i know a lot of you are asking me for previous webinar recordings we will send it to you don't worry uh, our marketing team is very efficient and they will be on it to send you the previous webinars so don't worry about it you will be receiving them okay the past couple of days that we've been doing it now so pro map is uh, what it does is it helps you identify extracurriculars you can do to build your profile like i said it's custom made so what you get your friend won't get it'll be different types of activities depending on your interests and your aptitude and your skills all right so there's psychometric test that you do there'll be a road map and there's counseling it's all inclusive of the service but i've been talking about um i've been talking about vip right a lot of you know about vip i'm going to very briefly tell you about vip and an exciting offer that we have now vip is the virtual internship program and i know a lot of you have been on uh, my webinars with regards to virtual internship program this is a great opportunity for you to when you're at home to do something so what we offer are 18 different uh, types of careers you can choose anywhere between three uh, careers in order to try and figure out what you want to do now for example if you've decided that you want to be a computer engineer you know what take computer engineering along with maybe graphic designing and ethical hacking and kind of see the difference between these three they might be quite similar in the kind of skills that you need but the jobs are different the kind of career opportunities are different okay but dimple just hold on i'm going to answer this question and i don't want to miss anything so i just want to read out something to you so what we're having is that we're having a super super exciting offer all right now what this is is that the virtual internship program as you know is a very very integral part of your profile building remember we just talked about profile building now what it is is that tech companies such as ourselves like univariety we're going above and beyond what is expected to come up with solutions for you to have at home internships how cool is that so you can sit in the comforts of your home and during this lockdown you can make sure that you're still learning so parents if you are on this is something that you can do also what is the difference between pro map and vip someone's asking me what the difference is is pro map is the entire road map we will give you list of activities that you can do vip is only one such activity you see the difference 
ProMap is all the activities that you can do. VIP is one such activity. And I'm just talking about VIP right now, right now. Okay. So what this does is that this program, which is the virtual internship program, it helps you in profile building. Okay. So listen to me carefully. Aditya, Dimple, listen to the differences. All right. So what the virtual internship does is that it helps you in your profile link. So it looks amazing that you have done these uh, internships in different careers. It helps you narrow your career options, okay, your preferences. So you can say, wow, I love this. And no, I never want to look at this again. All right. So it helps you narrow down your career options and preferences. It is such a great way in order for you to utilize your time. So a lot of you are like, miss, I'm so bored. I don't want to study anymore. What do I do right now? Here you go. Virtual internship program. Okay. And it is a stepping stone to what, uh, what you want to do in your admissions and masters. And it, it, it exposes you to multiple things. All right. That's what it is. Now, for all of you, how many of you here today? You know what? 296 of you, you're in luck today. And you know why? Because based on so much feedback, so there are lots of students who've done it and we've gone back to them and said, what was, did you like it? Did you enjoy it? Parents and students have come back and said such amazing things about it. And I have been talking about it in my webinars. What we have done is we have put together a 10 day at home internship program, 10 days. Okay. Not just one day. 10 days. So what you can do, remember I said there are 18 different careers. You now have the opportunity to pick 10 out of those 18 different careers. So all this while students could only pick three, but you, my dear lucky friends have the opportunity to pick 10. All right. And one minute, and I'm going to tell you how much it's going to cost. Okay. So you will do a deep dive into each of these careers. You'll be listening to experts through videos. You'll be doing activities and then you can measure your interest level. And how you can do that is because you get a detailed report for each program that you do. So for each program you do, they will tell you, hey, these are the great skills that you have. Or maybe these not so much, but these are really good. So you can compare. And at the end of this, after doing 10, you get 10 different certificates. Can you imagine? That is so cool. So you'll just, when you apply to university, you'll tell them, you know what? Look at what I did during lockdown. I made use of my time. I learned about, yes, the career that I love, but I also learned about nine new careers. And these are the kind of skills that I learned through it. So listen carefully on this 18th of uh, April, which is Saturday, right? 18th of April, we're going to be having a flash sale. So it's only for one day. All right. And it you will have an 80% discount. So normally in order to do 10, it would cost you 20,000 rupees. But we are giving it to you for 3,999. Okay. So 3,999, you can do 10 different careers. I'm telling you, boys and girls, parents, you are not going to get this anywhere else. All right. You won't get an opportunity to study about 10 different careers for less than 4,000 rupees. Well, almost 4,000 rupees, but yeah, one rupee shot. Okay. You will not get this anywhere else. Okay. So all you need to do is because we have already started the pre-booking. So it's very limited. We've got limited seats. We can't be taking everybody on this. What you can do is you just have to click on the link that is given in, uh, in the sticky note. All right. And you can explore and see there will be information that you need to put in. And you can also there will be a, a link in the link that you click uh, to give you more information about the product. So all you need to do, you're just one click away. We're running this for limited seats. So go in and pre-book. If you want to do it at 3,999, you're more than welcome to do it next week for 20,000 rupees. No problem at all. But if you want to do it for cheap, for 80% discount, then 3,999. Students, we will make sure we send you this webinar, okay? If your parents are not watching, I would love for you to show it to your parents and tell them, you know what, this is a great opportunity 
not only for multiple reasons that I told you to build your profile, which is very important for you to get to know what career that you want to do. Okay. And for you to uh, eliminate things that you definitely don't want to do. So look through and see out of the 18, I'm sure 10, uh, I'm sure hundred percent, you will be able to pick out 10. Okay. So, um, I'm telling you, boys and girls and parents, uh, I have seen feedback. I Almost every day I get feedback from students who have done this and it's been amazing. Okay, 97% parents are extremely and students especially are very, very happy. So this is your chance. Get your hands on this program. I don't think you want to miss it. You really, really don't want to miss it. Okay. So if you have more, if you need any kind of information, you're more than happy to write to us at guide me at univariety. Please click this link that has been given to you for your ticket for your file fire sale. You don't need to do anything if you click on it. You're just booking a slot. That's all you're doing. Please make sure that you uh you know show this to your parents we will be uh, where to register anugya you're asking me my voice is breaking i'm sorry you know what when i get excited about something then i like you can't hear me nobody can hear me can people hear me i think so okay is this program for 12th graders it's for 10th 11th uh no it's from 8th 9th 10th 11th 12th everybody okay for all of you mr jane that's awesome get your child registered i'm telling you you won't regret this all right so yes yes everyone can hear me see most people can hear me that's pretty good so as i talk to you vip fire sale this is an at home internship make good use of this opportunity only this saturday all day i think it's from 6 a.m to 11 p.m i'm not sure tomorrow i will give you the timings but this is your chance to register. And if you click on the, uh, the, the ticket for fire sale, you know, the link that's given here, just put in your details. We'll tell you how to get registered. It's awesome. If your parents are not here, try and tell them that this is such a good opportunity. And trust me, there are no virtual internship programs other than this, where you will get two things at the end of it. First, you know, three things. You will get clarity on a particular program. You will get a report talking to you about your skills, talking about what that particular career field is about, talking to you about um, whether you have the skills for it. And thirdly, you get a certificate telling you that. OK, so I hope I've answered some of your questions. Uh, let me see if there are any more questions that I can take. No, uh, Vamsi, that's wrong. Uh, so yes, it's going to show 20,000 now if you've been listening to me. I said only on the 18th of April is this fire sale available. So today, please don't try and buy it. Okay, unless you want to spend 20,000, then please do. But otherwise, wait till Saturday. Just click on the link, put your details, and we'll make sure that you will be able to get, uh, you know, make use of this discount that we're offering. So it's just for you guys. If you have friends who are listening, I'm going to be talking about this tomorrow a little bit at the end. Uh, I'm going to be talking about how you can increase your focus and concentration. That's what predominantly we'll be talking about. But I also will be talking about the VIP fire sale, the virtual internship program fire sale. OK, so uh, please make sure that you log on, that your friends log on, that you put uh, your information on the link that is provided for you. Uh, Just Noor, the link is on top, my friend. OK, book your ticket for fire sale. Can you see that? OK, which are the certificates? And please share the course details and also value of the certificate in the market. So, Trisha, this certificate is not going to get you a job because I'm thinking either I'm hoping that you are a student who's in high school. OK, what it will do is it'll give you a certificate that will really be quantifiable when you're applying to university. OK, when you apply to university, you can say, listen, see what I've got. 
okay this is something that i've got this is something that i did through the pandemic it also gives you an opportunity rushab to talk about it when you are writing your essays where i don't know which grade you're in or what you're doing right now but they're going to ask you what did you do through the pandemic and this is something and i say this every time but trust me it's going to be a question i guarantee you they're going to say what did you do through the thing okay so uh, what did you do through the pandemic and this is such a great way to show what you did now somebody asked me what um, what kind of courses we offer so here are the 18 there's hospitality law film making dentistry architecture fund management of finance uh, marketing fashion designing graphic designing chartered accounting computer engineering psychology family business mechanical engineering medicine teaching civil services and ethical hacking so you might say but miss i am not interested in a lot of these that's okay you know what you may be not interested because you don't know what it is about so what a great way for you to understand what it is like if i had a choice i want to do ethical hacking because i have no idea and it sounds super exciting okay so uh, take 10 random ones and maybe one or two that you're definitely your priority is to pick one or two that you're very interested in and then pick some that you may not you're not familiar with and then what you do is compare all the reports and see where you have the most amount of skills all right balaji you just uh, you can't register now so only on saturday can you avail of this discount but you can put go ahead and click on that link that shown up on top right on top of the chat box okay it's like a little post it sign in yellow uh, so just go ahead and just click on it and you will be able to do that okay nitya hi nitya you're back now uh, you're saying you have multiple interests okay you know what your questions just gone let me go back to your question uh rushab i think i hope i made myself clear to you my friend okay uh online courses you recommend i told you some free ones are han like udemy and coursera now from them if you need a certificate you have to pay but otherwise they are all free and now because of the pandemic there are a lot more online courses that are free like harvard is doing online courses 67 different online courses that you can do for free so go look okay ma'am it shows uh uh 399 for me today it's uh so should i buy it are you sure it's for 10 because there is another one for 399 for only 3 so just be careful uh siri chandana chukka can someone verify that if someone from my team is on please verify that um after lockdown would we get a hard copy of the certificate so no you'll only get a soft copy as of now but that is more than enough for you to do you nobody will ask for a hard copy trust me nobody will okay um okay so what about the colleges which are admissions through competitive exams and do they also ask for a prof profile shreya good question they may not ask for a profile but it's always good so these are not the only colleges you're applying to keep that in mind you're always going to have backup because of the kind of competition and it all depend on how you do on your exams and your final exams and all of it you will definitely have two three colleges that are backups and for those you're going to have so if it's straight in yeah you're just looking at entrance exams and uh, those may not need it but majority of the colleges will like delhi university even those like delhi university is such an old university will definitely need it okay uh, i am trying to look for nitya's question if someone finds it can you please send it to me or oh, nitya please ask your question again and because uh, it looked like a very very interesting question okay uh, i have multiple inter i don't know what to do i'm getting a specific career just as your example me and my friend also planned a very cheap go kart awesome so do that okay you have multiple inter uh, interests a great way for you to find out what you're most interested in do this virtual internship program nitya i'm not kidding because you will be able to see what you're interested in not interested in and it'll also give you an opportunity to combine some of these interests together that's what you can do so you can take out skills from all these 10 different uh, careers that you looked at put it together and see all right so go ahead and start you can start to build your profile already but 
uh, by about the end of grade 12, you should be interested in just maybe two or three things, and then we can find you courses there where you can combine everything. Okay. Uh, anything related to journalism, Manisha? No, we don't have anything related to journalism. But look at other things that you can do, right? From the ones that I read out, maybe things like where you can, you know, journalism, a lot of creativity. So look at the skills that you're using in journalism right and see what else what are those kind of skills that you can use in some of these for example if you look at filmmaking you're going to have to learn how to write okay if you look at graphic designing i would think a little bit of creativity i mean a lot of creativity so fashion designing graphic designing psychology uh, marketing all of these are things that are very similar to the kind of skills that you need for journalism so keep that in mind okay um Ananya, what's the link for tomorrow's webinar? It's going to be on uh, our Univariety page. You can go there. And I think, I hope that we'll be able to send it to you also. Ma'am, is sports there? Atarva, nothing related to sports is there. Uh, but there's lots about engineering and about business and about design and about psychology and ethical hacking. All of that things are there. So please, you know, uh, definitely make use of it. Okay. Maybe you can see how you can use sports maybe in marketing. You know what I mean? Or in designing or, uh, you know, something like that. So go find psychology. You know, sports psychology, Atarva is so upcoming. They are in need for sports psychologists. So go do something in psychology. And then what you do is you put your interest in sports with psychology together and find a course that you can study. Okay. Um, booking time, it is showing. No. So Shweta, I would suggest that you wait till Saturday in order to do that. If it's allowing you to uh, buy for 3999 for 10 and not 3, then go ahead. But otherwise, only on Saturday. Just put your, uh, don't try and do this right now. Just uh, go and put your information on the form that's given to you and somebody will call you and guide you in the right way of how you need to go. Neharika, sure, we can send you uh, stuff on a pro map, no problem at all. Okay, open it said uh, 3999, can I register? Sure, go ahead and I guess go ahead and register. Okay. Um, so Samir, you're asking me, is it for 10 days? Uh, yes, the uh, 10 days at home internship program is uh, for 10 days, as you know. You can sit at home and you can, do, uh, you can do it. There are no timings for it. It's up to you and how soon you want to do. Okay. Uh, fashion design. Yes, anu, uh, Anupreet fashion design is there. So definitely go ahead. There's graphic design. So maybe pick those two and pick another eight and, um, and compare. All right. Um, do, do online courses help? Are there certificates? So online courses do help, uh, especially if you want clarity about a particular program, they will definitely help. All right. Many people are, uh, yeah. Uh, so we will be sending you information about ProMap also. Uh, just hold, I need to take this.
call yeah are you calling me i'm on the... okay thank you everybody uh, i hope to see you tomorrow and uh, please go ahead don't forget to click on that link and show your interest in the fire sale put yourself over there and uh, we'll be sure to get in touch with you about the next steps thank you and see you tomorrow